Hey guys, Dan Rice, FHC Outdoors. Today I want to focus on the drop shot and for good reason. It's a great technique for going after smallmouth and largemouth bass and it not only catches numbers but it catches big, big fish. I've caught, uh, kind of got on a school here of smallmouth and uh, all about this size right here that I'm about to show you. Uh, it's right around that three, three and a half pound and I've already put four in the boat and within a matter of five minutes uh, had some people up on the shore watching me and they were blown away but uh, you know one of the great things about smallmouth is that if you catch one there's generally more in the summertime because they they like to school up and so um, you know as far as the setup goes it's a Lama Glass XP702S tremendous drop shot rod seven foot two power um, have it paired up with the Abu Garcia Revo Premier this is a size 20 and I have 20 pound braid is my main line, 8 pound fluorocarbon is my leader, and I use a number 2 owner mosquito hook with a 3 16 ounce or a quarter ounce drop shot weight. Uh, when I'm chasing after smallmouth, about 90% of the time I'm going to have a 4.5 inch robo worm tied on, and um, you know that's the setup. So let's go ahead, I'm going to try and get back on this school here. And what I really want you to pay attention to is the lack of movement. And a lot of people generally are really, really aggressive with the drop shot. Um, you know, if you're video gaming and you, you see them on your electronics and you drop straight down, you know, you can kind of mix things up, you know, by uh, shaking your rod or just letting it sit there. Um, but when you're kind of blind casting and you're just trying to cover an area with a drop shot, I generally just like to, you know, have, kind of have calm motion to it, cast it out, let it let it drop, let it, um, you know, hit the bottom and twitch it, give it a, you know, a few seconds to pause and then twitch it again and just kind of work it back to the boat. So let's see if we can get back on these fish because I want to show you guys how to catch more fish on the drop shot but also how to be confident with the technique because it's very important and uh, so let's hit the water here. So prime example right there guys, casting it out, letting it drop, and essentially if you're fishing on a river, you kind of want to feel your drop shot weight bounce along. And it's, it's kind of hard to teach people over video, it's, it's a lot easier to do it in person, but if you can kind of feel that drop shot weight tick along the rocks, essentially what you're doing, you're calling those smallmouth out. You know, they're, I'm always focusing on rocks, especially in the summertime, because both smallmouth and largemouth are going to focus on, on crayfish. And you can see how hard they fight. I mean, my... <laughs> they're absolutely, pound for pound, one of the hardest fighting fish. And this is a great smallmouth. Wow! This is a giant. You can see, I mean, I'm, you know, even my drag's backed off a little bit. You don't want to break your line. Wow, what a beast.
that, my friends, that right there is why you fish the drop shot in the summertime. That Lama Glass XP, Abu Garcia, Revo Premier. But this, guys, I'm telling you, there's nothing more exciting than catching smallmouth. And when you do it on the drop shot, you're gonna get results like this. So as you guys can see, <laughs> man, it just doesn't get any better than that. I mean, my blood, I'm shaking, my blood's pumping, my adrenaline's going, and uh, you know, don't get me wrong, there's lots of great ways to get out and learn how to bass fish. But if you're up north and you're in clear water, it doesn't matter if you're um, you know, on a reservoir, a river, or a lake. It could be huge, it could be small. In the summertime, and as you go into the fall, those smallmouth and largemouth, they're gonna focus on rocks. Find some rocky shorelines, find some points that are gradual sloped, that have rocks or boulders, Fish the drop shot, cover the area. If you don't get bit, don't stop. There's gonna be fish there. If you think about how many times you cast in a day, how many fish actually see your lure, yet you just don't catch them, you don't know that they're there, switch it up. Pull up a jig, nothing. Tie on a crankbait, try and get a reaction bite. But no matter what, don't ever, ever leave an area that's got rocks on it in the summer without fishing a drop shot.